Yeah, as advisors, we tend to only talk about volatility when markets are going down, but volatility actually is as much about markets moving up rapidly as it is moving down rapidly. It's just off of a standard deviation, how much are things whipping around. You know, I've done the recent commentary on uh, my experience with my three-year-old on the roller coaster and some of those quick ascents after the initial start and were as stomach turning as the drops, right? Let alone the twist left or right. They're a lot more fun for an investor when things are skyrocketing up. I just think the, the key thing is to know that it's all part of the experience of being an investor. Um, it all needs to be taken into account when you're making your plan. What do you do when volatility spring to the upside? Well, hopefully you're rebalancing your portfolio and banking some of the gains. Uh, again, as I analogize in that commentary, it's like keeping your arms, hands and arms inside the ride. You should have set allocations for every position and if they get too far stretched, you need to bring those back in. If they're really down low, well then that's your chance to buy low, right? But it's all kind of counterintuitive. Uh, when things are flying high, you want to let them run. To buy what isn't working is very difficult. And yet, as much as everybody knows to parrot the words, very few people actually put it into place. So the best thing to do, like the 10 rules they have before you get on a roller coaster is, have all this defined before the ride takes off.